Hey Libras, welcome to your monthly reading for March. This is Libra Sun Moon Rising. So guys, let's take a look here. Okay, new beginnings, positive. Oh, healing, okay. Ten of Wands. Got the Magician. So the energy that I'm seeing you're entering the month is... Wow, you got your groove on, guys. Like, seriously, you're all about the new beginnings, healing. I feel like many of you have dropped some sort of a burden from past, something difficult from the past with the Ten of Wands here. You're going more into the unknown. Some of you could be traveling more, you know, uh, following your intuition, doing things that you never thought you would do before. Like, I feel the energy is shifting here. Uh, you're becoming more courageous, more adventurous. And you're letting yourself go with the flow as well, in what I'm getting. Because you wanted to manifest something in the recent past. You just decided that, you know, it's time for me to do something about this. It's time for me to do something about my spirit, spiritual health, about my physical health. Whatever this is for you. I feel like a lot of positive energy is happening right now for Libras. A lot of major arcanas, guys. So, you know, like we have, we could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius manifesting trying to manifest something with them you know try to have a new beginning clean slate if it's love but i'm seeing very positive energy at the moment okay we have aries energy as well for the month of march this aries or you know if it's career you know you pursuing career that you never thought you would go for there is going to be financial financial gain here there's gonna be like a lot of like um, how do you call this praises when somebody comes and you know they congratulate you i'm gonna feel like there's gonna be praises as well because the emperor sits on his throne this is like you building your own empire this is what you're gonna be focusing on finances i'm seeing finances for many libras here yeah what i told you eight of pentacles Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and then here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh gosh, okay. I see what's going on. So, Libras, Libras, this month you got this. Seriously, you got this. your groove on, you got your power, you are unstoppable with the Emperor here. This is you needing to focus on your stability, on your ground, ground, I'm sorry on your stability, on your uh, home life, on your whatever this is for you. Maybe it's even like emotional life as well for some of you. You know, you maybe need to put your foot down there as well. But you got this, you got this. Like I, I haven't seen such a positive spread in a while. Like so good. I really see good positive things coming in. With this, either with an Aries, there can be, uh, if it's love for you, there's gonna be work and effort put into this connection. But in general terms, guys, somebody's learning a new skill. I told you, you could be, you know, pursuing a job that used to be your hobby. And I'm seeing that this is very positive. This is very good. It's gonna, you know, I feel like you are feeling like you are, uh, how, did, how did they say this in English? Like kept in the dark, right? You were kept in the dark with a career path, with what you're going to be doing with yourself, where you're going to be going. I feel like this energy is over and done with throughout the month of March because you know through this craftsmanship, through this learning new skill, through investing your work and effort and energy into something that matters to you, you're going to get out of the Five of Pentacles. You're going to ignore also, I feel like you're going to be ignoring a lot of people from the side which are trying to intervene either with this connection or with this energy of yours. Like people who try to prevent your healing, like somebody who just disappeared out of your life and they're going to come back in because they feel the change of energy. So do be careful about that. What I'm also getting here, uh, there is some sort of truth to be spoken out. You're going to be cutting through the bullshit. You're going to be, you know, dropping the burdens on people. Mm -mm. Now that you've healed, now that you've grown, now that you are able to manifest these people, you know, 
can't do anything because you know you have new perception now i feel like you were struggling for a while with some issue and now there's clarity now you know especially if you didn't know which career path to take ace of swords here you know logic also i'm seeing here that you're you really are having this whole opportunity of yours ready for you to take it so do you know if there's a chance to begin something new to learn some new skill to get a job that is more suited for your character for your personality it's gonna bring you like a lot of abundance is what i'm getting but the only thing that can be a problem is if you allow this ten of wands whatever this burden was for you in the past like if you allow this to interfere with this new perception of yours with this newness of the energy from within you if you allow the clarity to become foggy again if you know what i mean because the star card can also be sometimes about being illusional you know but i don't see here that you're being illusional you're very grounded throughout the month of march with the emperor energy here what i want to discuss is we have the wheel of fortune here in your fierce position and i'm going to pull out a clarifier for that i have the chariot so you could be dealing with a cancerian or something to do with this is travel travel card for me um some of you are afraid of this new beginning. You're afraid to let things go naturally with the flow. You, you are afraid to move on towards the future. You know, like the chariot is not looking back at the past anymore. This one is looking at the sides a little, but they're still going for, forward. They're going towards the future. Because you're gonna, uh, there's gonna be a moment this month, uh, you know, doubting your skills, doubting your 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 capabilities, and this is this is just a test, really, sent from the universe to you, to see if you actually like, if you're not just dwelling on this energy, if you're actually doing something with it. Hope I made myself clear here, but you know, don't be afraid of things going in, you know, with the flow. okay that's what you get you get a reward if if there's a relationship here that's coming in this is a fixed sign energy also i'm getting i told you already aquarius we have here could be a leo or a scorpio or a taurus for someone that you're gonna have a new beginning with uh you know there's gonna be like a chance to manifest something new and fresh the ace of cups this is also for many of you understanding that you know this ace doesn't have to represent another person it's just your emotional renewal you being ready now to meet the two of cups to meet the other with the ace of cups and join together so now that you i feel like this month is going to be focused more on finances and work and you need to stop being afraid of letting the past you know influence this energy of yours you can't look back anymore uh for some of you who are you know with this love relationship i wanted just to address something you could be giving a chance uh, to this aries to invest that energy and effort away and there's an aquarius here that's involved that's going to be left out in a cold for some of you all right so now let's take a look at the oracle for you guys but you get a reward what more do you want it's awesome Okay, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Oracle. The Breaking. Okay, I'm loving this. Let's read it through. These are gorgeous cards, aren't they? Yep. All right, so 60. Here it is. It says here. <sighs> you may worry that you're going too far, that you may not recover for something, or that uh, you can never come back together again if you let something go. But what can you do? Can you hold back from the divine love that calls you, that lures you to becoming all that you actually are, to remember your divine nature? Well, you could try, but what for what purpose? Temporary rest before the storm at best. So take the rest if you need it, then dive into the storm. Let yourself be brokenhearted by the divine so that you can be become your truth, become all that you're meant to be. 
It is, letter, it is better to have the heart broken so that it grows than to be broken hearted by thinking that you must protect yourself from love. The oracle brings compassionate guidance that no matter what sadness or anger, despair or frustration you may feel, you are being, being pulled apart by not, not by dark forces but by the loving embrace of the divine as it strips you of that which you would keep, oh, I'm sorry, um, as it strips you of, of that which you would keep from your divine realization. Let go and break, it's going to be the making of you. So that's what I told you this month. Let go of love. If you feel like you're not fully ready for a new beginning, let go of it and it's gonna come naturally to you. Uh, you, fo you should focus your energy and effort on work, on earthly matters, on building yourself from the ground up, whatever this is for you, okay? Love is going to come along as a reward for your hard work and effort. Yep, yep. All right, now let's look at, look at a quick spread for love for the March. Um, okay. So... Have the eight of pentacles again. Somebody's gonna put work and effort. Others of you are gonna be walking away. <laughs> A lot of things here. The Empress, yeah. All right, so hang on. Oh, I think Aquarius had the same card at the same position. I'm not sure. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, who knows? Um, Libras, so for you, for month of March, there are two options I'm getting here. Some of you, you're going to be putting work and effort to build home with someone, to build a genuine connection with someone. For the others of you, um, there's something to do with somebody who walked away wants a second chance. They want to put, put work and effort back into this. And I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this moment. And now this is the Empress energy. Some, if you're a female Libra, again, this is especially for you. If you were dealing with, uh, with a Taurus female, guys, there can be a potential here for reconciliation. But if you're a Libra female, this is your time to, you know, it's like a payback time for you to them for whatever reason. But you know what else I'm getting? I mean, I'm getting that, you know, those of you who had issues where somebody walked away and you know you were waiting for someone for a long time this is also about don't be too much about the power game if you want to have this connection be more understanding and pick up the lessons that you learned but for the others of you you know there's going to be heart to heart conversation we have the two of wands here at the bottom of the deck so this is like being open to each other, being, you know, honest with each other. But some of you were waiting for a long time for somebody to come back around. They came back around and now it's your time to, you know, show them teeth, if you understand what I mean. So let's take a look. This oracle is for Libra singles. Keep an open mind. <laughs> okay, Libra singles. And then we have here... Um, Libra, those who were dealing with someone. Let your friends help you. Okay. So some of you need to take an advice from your friends. You need to discuss this with other people. It's not enough to just have your own um, judgment. It says here, ask, ask for and accept support from others. Allow other people to help you. I mean, not of course like everyone around you, but if this person is sorry... If this person is truly ready to build up something with you, you know, discuss with your friends, discuss with your co workers no co-workers, what am I talking about? Discuss with the, those around you that you feel that they can resonate with what you went through with this person. Be open to this. And then we have singles. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's why you got the Empress here, you know. There's this... You know, this person may not be as tall as you thought, or they can be different religion, different race. There's something different here about them 
that you're not used to. So, you know, allow yourself to give others a chance as well. Don't be restrictive. I'm getting, I don't know, if you're like into, yeah, like if you're into, into like uh, blonde guys or ginger may come along or something, I don't know, I'm just getting like something that you're not used to physically different person as well as energetically. But be, be open to this new person that comes into your life, singles. We're gonna, we're, I, I, this resonates actually with my semi-monthly love readings for air signs. So singles, you should watch that maybe. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, for every comment, every like, for everything really. And I'll be seeing you guys soon with more videos. Bye bye.